Cuties or Minions, and not these, but the French version, is a story about an 11-year-old little girl named Fatima Yosef, who is Muslim and wants to break away from the traditions by participating in a competitive twerking competition. You heard me right, competitive twerking competition. She lives in one of the poorest neighborhoods in Paris and then joins a group of young dancers with the hopes of being a star through the medium of twerking. The director, Memusa Dekule, a woman from Senegal, made this movie, which is based on her own life experiences where she saw the hypersexualization of little girls and her goal was to critique it and bring attention and also have the film serve as a cautionary tale. However, Netflix got a hold of this film that, by the way, won Best Director in the World Cinema Dramatic section of Sundance, along with other awards, and decided to change, if you will, the marketing by what you see here now, which has caused the outrage and demands to cancel the film and everyone associated with it. After the trailer's release and the reaction from the audience, Netflix decided to issue an apology of some sort, saying that they understand that not all stories may appeal to all viewers, which is why we invest in a diverse range of content from all over the world. They also say that they provide ratings, synopsis, trailers, and controls to help their members make the right decision with their choices for themselves and their families. They also added that they believe in creative freedom and that at Netflix, they respect all religions and their cultures, traditions, and values. The film's director, Sylvan Zangora, has had some controversy surrounding him prior to him partnering with the writer which was available for reference, but has since been removed from the internet. I wonder why. Also, the co-founder of the Sundance Film Festival, Sterling Van Wagenen, was recently sentenced to life in prison after pleading guilty to sexually abusing a child, where in 2013 and 2015, he admitted to touching a young girl when she was age seven and nine. There is also a recording of him admitting to molesting a minor in 1993. This animal refused to apologize when he appeared before the parole board, saying that he wasn't going to attempt one because he wants us to know that he feels the consequences of what he's done and that he feels them deeply. Why it took so long for this demon to be put behind bars is beyond. I want to add that it is reported that the film's maker spent six months with around 650 little girls so-called auditioning, which means that they were required to perform twerking routines. So at this point, who is responsible? The mothers? The fathers, that's who's responsible. I get the public's outrage, but when are we going to hold these parents responsible? Where was the outrage when we had shows on TV, like Dance Moms? Some of you cheered these little girls on and tuned in every week to see what routines they would be performing, even when they would be adult routines. Do you think the uproar is based on the over-sexualization of young girls because of the climate we found ourselves in? Is this art? And seeing that it was made in France, are, there, are they more free with their liberties than we are? Finally, if this were your daughter, your sister, your niece, or your cousin, would you be okay with this kind of content? There is currently a petition to have Netflix not release this film on change.org that currently has over 309,000 signatures. I'll link it below 
in the comments section if you care to participate. You see, according to Maymusa, this film was meant to bring attention and to critique the over-sexualization of little girls. However, I think the director, producer, and writer misjudged the impact that the film, like this, would have. One, where they have little girls attempting to enter a twerking competition, which that in itself was not only tone deaf, but irresponsible. As I've said before, I am not the moral police or society's moral compass, but we as a society cannot allow our children, particularly our little girls, to be exploited, which is what this is, especially at the cost of an $8.99 subscription. These are just my thoughts. Comment below whether you agree or you don't. Remember to subscribe if you haven't and stay tuned for more and I will catch you in the next one. Goodbye.